Live at five from sunny Las Vegas, it's Offer Review, and we've got a bunch of April Fool's fun stuff today. We're gonna be wailing hard today, I'm afraid. But also, I wanna talk about two topics. Well, it's the same topic, really. We're gonna talk about the, the strike pass, which is currently uh, disabled right now. I guess there was an error with people buying it where they were being, uh, they were getting the Mojo one. So my understanding is that the strike pass has been disabled. So there is a difference between Strike Pass 2 and Strike Pass 3. And so Strike Pass 2 is for uh, certain character levels. So like my secondary account that's at level 53, you get offered the Strike Pass 2. And it's based on what level you are when the Strike Pass goes into play. And so if you're level 80, we all got the Strike Pass 3. Now I'm just gonna go ahead and say this. I did, uh, I ran through an evaluation of Strike Pass 2 and Strike Pass 3. And it, by all metrics, other than Red Stars, Strike Pass 3 is better. And if I was given the option to buy Strike Pass 3 or Strike Pass 2, I would definitely buy Strike Pass 3 every single time. But in reality, let me describe Strike Pass to you. 500 cores, blah, 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 Silver Surfer. Blah, 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 Silver Surfer, $20. Literally, the people that are buying or interested in buying the, the Strike Pass, the, most of the value in, the, in the, the strike pass is Silver Surfer. Same thing, if I were to describe the RTA battle pass, let me describe that one. 500 cores, blah, 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 gear tier 15s, blah, 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 gear tier 15s. So the reason to buy the strike pass is Silver Surfer. The reason to buy the RTA pass is gear tier 15s to get Doom. And there's a lot of other stuff in there that makes up some value. I personally feel that the strike pass is a better value than RTA. I actually like the contents of the strike pass better myself. I, I think it adds up. It's a uh, $20. I'm going to buy it myself, uh, but it's disabled right now. Now that being said, strike pass two, which I, I would definitely always take the strike pass two. strike pass two has uh, red stars in it. And uh, the, whereas the, the strike pass three has uh, ions, it has orange elite orbs, it has orange orbs, bunch of other stuff that is of value. But I, I do think this is a severe oversight and they need to change that. Uh, I, I think it would be a big welcomed thing if the Strike Pass 3, which is for level 80 players and some other ones, I think 71 or something like that. I'm not sure exactly the breakpoint, but it should have red stars. I mean, if they're going to offer it on the Strike Pass 2, it should definitely be on the Strike Pass 3. Uh, you know, we give us some elite fours, give us some uh, elite fives in there, uh, just to have it like logical that you know the battle pass one, battle pass two, battle pass three. Also, all of the battle passes, if you play on the free to play track track and you don't spend any money, you can unlock a two star silver surfer, and he's the best. He's the best, and uh, I, I just want to acknowledge that a lot of posts on Reddit upset that there's two battle pass for forty dollars. Uh, I do understand that spending $40 a month on a mobile game is, is not going to be agreeable to a large number of players, but from a valuation and from a spender's point of view, uh, the battle pass is an exceptional value. Absolutely. And I'm going to be buying the battle pass. Let's move on. Uh, cause I'm a dirty whale. I whale harder. I'm a dirty spender. <laughs> Let's go. Uh, that being said. Anniversary 2021 Power Core deal. Okay, let's see. Uh, let's pull this up. Oh, I'm on the wrong account. Uh, 2021 Power Core deal. So, basically, if you buy Power Cores at any time, this is $10 for this is the correct amount of Power Cores, and this is bonus stuff. I notice I stopped saying the word free stuff. Over here, you can't see it. You get 20, it's 35 US dollars, 2,800 power cores. We've got, uh, what is this, ions? Oh, we got no ISO 8 orb fragments, eh. We've got some Moon Knight, eh. We've got some red stars, okay. We got some premium orbs, okay. We got some training materials, but the, pro the thing is, is that it's $35 for that amount of cores adds up. And I am a spender, I do buy power cores from time to time, and so for me, uh, I'm going to buy $35 worth of power cores and accept the, the bonus stuff. Uh, if you buy power cores, uh, you know, then this, this makes sense. It just does make sense. And I do buy power cars from time to time. I can see uh, not a lot of people are going for this. This is not like, 
you know, the end of the world, best deal ever. But if you're a person that purchases power cores, it's a reasonable value. Sponsored by Amazon Coins. Link is in the description. And also uh, in chat, if you're on di or chat or on Discord, you, know, you can in you can get the link. Oh, that's the wrong button. Let's hit that button right there. I need to delete that off of my OBS. Um, but uh, it only works for, I only get credit for it for 24 hours. So if you uh, are going to re-up uh, with your thing, I do appreciate if you reuse the link because I only get credit when you click the link for 24 hours. I guess it puts a cookie in there and I get credit for 24 hours. Okay, let's see. Let's go over here. We got that. All right, special deal. Okay, so we picked that up. All right, let's move on. And we're going to do the April Fool's. Uh, there's an April Fool's calendar offer here, which is very interesting right here. And I want to let this go through before I before I go on. Okay, get all my items. There we go. April Fool's, one core. Don't take advantage of this special offer. Everybody's telling me this is hilarious. I have not clicked it yet. Let's see what it is. Thank you. You've received the following special. So it's a calendars. Okay. Hey, 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 hey. What is that? 10 silver promotion credits, a gold orb, and we get my power. I, hey, thank you for being so considerate and giving me my one power core back. I, wouldn't that give us an uneven amount of power cores? And that would drive me insane if I was missing one power core forever. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> All right. Uh, let's go back to the offers. All right. Let's see here. All right. Advanced bio gear offer. Again, I am not in the market for bio gear period. I'm just not. But if you're in the market for buying bio gear, my recommendation is to not spend more than 10 cents per piece. And so click on each individual items. Isomer is usually in high demand. Phosphates sometimes can be done. ABCs are usually in high demand. Uh, not so much. My guess is that most people need this and this, those two. And if you just need those two pieces, it doesn't quite add up to $15. But if you need three of these four pieces, then it does add up to more than that 10 cents per piece valuation. Let's move on. But I'm not, a per I, I personally have no value on purple gear currently. I, I'm not spending any money on purple gear and they have not provided any value for me to actually, any incentive for me to buy orange gear. So I'm personally not buying orange gear. I'm not buying purple gear currently right now. It just it hasn't happened. So we'll have to see. All right, it's advanced skill gear offer identical response right there this right here this right here are going to be the two most pieces in demand uh if you need three of the four pieces i could see somebody spending the 15 dollars. let's move on power up your superior gear this is trash my problem with with the difference between orange gear gold this is orange orange gear the difference between orange gear and purple gear is that you need like five to eight times more to get characters to max level. And so the valuations, they're not one for one. This is not as valuable as purple gear, in my opinion. Like you could drop a zero off of this and, and it makes more sense. It's, that, it's like they added zeros to the end of everything and we're just supposed to think that it means much. It's like stock splits and things like that. It doesn't really mean anything. It's like Canadian currency versus US currency. There's an exchange rate, right? And, and the exchange rate from gold gear to purple gear is like five to eight times more. It just is. It isn't, it's, it's, you need so many more pieces on this gold gear than you do orange gear. And I think this offer is trash. Let's move on. Uh, resource offer. All right. So this is a function of gear 14s for a lot of pieces. If you are pushing to get your 16 characters done for uh, DD4 to get Dr. Doom. This will be a reasonable valuation. I'm not going to buy it because I don't need the war store currency. Also, there is a war store currency spending event that goes with the three year anniversary. Let's move on. Cosmic is cosmic essence daily offer. I think this is trash. Do not buy this. Uh, the time to buy this is on the last day or two of the event. I believe we have several days before you, it wraps up. And uh, then it becomes a function of the milestones. The orbs themselves are okay. They're quite good, but that's not the reason to buy this. The reason to buy this is for the milestones and completing milestones. And if the next tier of milestones at the end of the event makes sense, uh, then you would possibly consider this. But I don't see the point in buying this now at, at all. Same thing is kind of true of the battle pass. 
uh, it's not working correctly currently, but I'm not going to actually hit the buy button until I can advance my silver surfer to another star level. Uh, you don't have to do it right away. You can wait until the end. Plus, we don't know how the, the, the daily activities, because it's just daily activities 2.0, how that's going to add up over the month and how easy it's going to be to max that out or not. Let's move on. Extraordinary energy bundle. Uh, okay, so here's the thing. Normally, I don't get too excited about this event, uh, these offers, but the added value to this right now is that in addition to getting the 2000 energy and that, and we got multiple man orb, or not a multiple man, uh, a Moon Knight orb, premium orb, fine. The, when you spend the 2000 campaign energy, you're also going to get uh, 2000 of this currency right here. See? So this is a better deal, in my opinion, because uh, if you look at this right here, why would you buy this twice and get 3600 of this energy? Where you could buy this right here once, get 2000 energy. Plus, when you get the 2000 energy, you're going to get the character shards and the gear and the gold and the training materials and the experience. Right? I mean, that's probably worth about 10 bucks on its own. And then right there, you're going to get some some 15s or some some ghost shards, whatever you need. You're going to get some multiple orb, uh, not multiple, uh, Moon Knight uh, on average nine. You get a premium orb. Okay, so I do like this. I'm not going to buy this. But sometimes there's a couple of times during this week, and we don't, I, the vent tab, I just checked it, didn't have anything coming up. But there's also double drops and things like that that happen from time to time. And that's when this actually is in even more value is when we have some other another event going like so let's keep going on we're not gonna buy it i don't see the value in this myself personally so i'm gonna move on iso 8 energy calendar i'm not a fan of this i do refresh the iso 8 uh energy tabs for the 50s every day and uh, this is uh, not as good value as the 50s but if you're a person that refreshes the 100s you can look into this calendar offer i personally don't see the value in this let's move on special orb draft I value gold orbs at one buck a piece, training orbs at $4 a piece, premium orbs at $1 a piece. So we've got $2 value, $3, $4 value, $3 value. Uh, so this would bother me if I spent $3 on one gold orb, so I'm not gonna buy this. And I don't really want the premium orbs anyway. Uh, Legacy One offers, I value these at 25 cents a piece because they do contain uh, gold and purple gear. Uh, you know, so at best, I think this is worth $1.25. For new players, uh, some people will buy this anyways just to get the legacy one. Those are the characters that were out during global launch. I don't have the value on those myself. Let's move on. Uh, gold orb bundle. Uh, not a good deal. I value gold orbs at $2 a piece. That's a blitz orb, which I value at 10 cents. That's maybe worth another 40 cents. So that is not worth five bucks. Let's move on. Uh, limited time sale. Also not a good deal. I value gold orbs at $2 a piece. So that is uh, $12 worth of gold. And then another four bucks right there, 16 total dollars. Let's move on. All right, let's move on. We got, I don't like these right here, but if you, I mean, this is this kind of situational team, but there's not a lot of value in this. Exclusive training offer at best of value training materials at $2 a piece. So this is a total of $5 value, does not add up to $10. Let's move on. Uh, War consumables bundle, pack of shame, get out of my face. Just blitz harder so you don't have to buy this. All right, Blitz Charge Pack, no, not gonna buy that. None of this stuff down here is any of interest to me. Uh, Daily Orb Bundle, I don't like these at all, and let me explain why. Uh, best at value, Red Stars at $2 a piece, Premium Orbs, one buck a piece, so $3 total value for about $6 worth of course. Get out, no, no way, it's trash. All right, Daily Energy, I do like this. Uh, I'm not gonna buy this today, but sometimes I do buy this. The reason why I like this, I personally refresh the dailies 50s, so I buy 50, cor 50 cores, get a 125, 50 cores, 125, refresh the campaign energy. Some people refresh the 100. So this right here is better than the 100 refreshes. So if you're a person that does the 100 refreshes, this is a better deal. You should do this first, and then you get the extra blitz, uh, blitz currency. All right, let's toggle over to my free-to-play account and uh, see what's going on over there. We, it looks like we've got a lot of the same offers. We're going to do the... Let's see, we got to do the April Fools. Don't take advantage of the special offer. Boy, if nothing else, that tells us to not listen to uh, the 80% off, right? Don't listen to the 80%. April Fools. It's, it's technically not April Fools for me until tomorrow, but that makes sense. Advanced Bio Gear. Okay, let's scroll through these and see if we have something that is unique on this account that was not showing up on my other account. Uh, sometimes there's different offers here. Okay, X Force Orbs. Okay, 
So this is a function of doc awk, and doc awk will be coming, I guess, is it, um, I have to look at the, I can't remember, is it is that coming on Monday or a week from Monday? No, a week from this upcoming Monday, so about, uh, about 10 days out. And um, there's, the next legendary character, one way or another, is doc awk. Check the events tab. I don't have the information in front of me right now. But here we go. I don't like these orbs at all, because what happens if you spent $20 and you get... 30 cable shards, right? It's in five days. Okay, Doc Ock's in five days. So it's happening on Monday. Five days away from Doc Ock event. And in to unlock Doc Ock is five, five star X Force. And so here's the deal. Three of them are actually pretty hard to get. X23 is War Store. Domino is a Blitz Orb. At a, Blitz Orb, not Blitz Store. Blitz Orb, 10% drop rate. You just have to open Blitz Orbs, right? And then Teenage Warhead is a hard node, late game, hard node farm. And so if this helps you get Doc, I get it. But the problem I have is that Cable and Deadpool are in these orbs. And I think a lot of people do not need Cable and Deadpool. And technically, you could spend $20 and only get 30 shards of a character you don't really need. Rip. I don't like these orbs. I don't like them. Let's move on. Shield Maiden Offer. All right. I'm not a fan of 50 character shards for 30 bucks. Sif is a a, a uh, war store character. Uh, Sif is usually was one of the harder characters for me to get to unlock Black Bolt. So this is a function of getting Black Bolt. I currently am not using Sif anywhere in the game other than Blitz. Not using her in war anymore. She's on the bench. Not 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 very useful. I'm getting use out of other Asgardians. Uh, Hela and Thor specifically, and sometimes Loki, but Heimdall and Sif are on my bench. They're not being used anywhere other than anywhere other than uh, Blitz. All right, let's get out of here. Not a fan of that. All right, Orb Draft. Okay, this is a a guppy snack. Uh, we got a red star for I value that at two bucks. Premium orb we value at a buck. Training orb I value at two dollars. Fourteen basic orbs. Yeah, I value that at about ninety cents. So I'm gonna pick this up right here. Uh, this is the one that I like. I don't like the one that has the watermelon orb. All right, what happened there? Oh, I'm not going to buy this. This is my free-to-play account. We don't want to buy this at all. This is my free-to-play account. We don't buy anything on this account. I must have bought it on my other account. But yeah, this is something that I normally pick up. Let's move on. You can see that that was the Google Play Store. It was throwing me off there for a second. Oof. All right. Special orb draft. <laughs> at best, we, value go we went over this already. Let's keep going down. All right, let's see if we have any other offers here. And we're going to wrap it up. All right. What are your thoughts about the Strike Pass and just the general idea of Marvel Strike Force having two separate bottle passes for $40? Uh, the way that I look at Marvel Strike Force is I look at it as a hobby. It's something that I do every day. I get a lot of value out of playing it every day. I very much enjoy it. Uh, and there's lots of different hobbies out there. And so um, I, I, I will continue to spin as long as I see the valuation in it as I do as any other hobby. Let me know what you think in the comment section. And as always, thanks for watching and keep on gaming. Bottle pass. No, battle pass. Destroyer of words.